This was me. This was my before. I was Jenny then. I was joyful. The older sister, the firstborn. I babysat my newborn sister when I was 10. I grew into a strong, independent girl. When most seniors were terrified of leaving the nest, I was unfazed by my new impending freedom. I was ready for the next challenge. In college, my circle of friends got wider. After graduation, I traveled all over Europe, backpacking, hitchhiking, flying by the seat of my pants. I was fearless. But everything changed that day in May. I lost my joy. It was gone. And so was that girl. I was attacked and I was stabbed uh, probably around 37 times with a screwdriver. I thought I was dead. I don't remember looking in a mirror for at least eight months. I'm sure I must have, but I have no recollection of the face that looked back at me. I didn't want to remember her. This was my new after. The scariest step is always the first one. When you're deep down in your own endless looping track, it's really hard to see that you're going around in circles. And the way out of that groove can sometimes seem like an unbridgeable gap. But sometimes the only difference between being in the hole and getting out is just one footstep. One little boost up and you're on your way. You can't control what may happen to you in this life, but you can control who you want to be after it happens. You can decide who you want to be. I'm still a work in progress, but instead of worrying about my life and what it has in store for me, I just throw my hands in the air and enjoy the ride.